Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Jake Little situation or the freak out on Instagram because I genuinely think this guy's been making a complete utter fool of himself ever since the dog pack interview and I find it genuinely hilarious. So we're going to sit back, relax, and laugh at this shit. So let's get right into it. So it seems as after the dog pack interview and Jake Little's multiple videos on his own channel, making him look like a complete idiot, by the way, uh, has gained him some harassment and it gained him some type of uh, target on his back. No fucking duh. But here we go. He starts it off the story by saying, disappearing for a bit. It's been incredibly difficult few days. As more stuff comes out, the more I am subject to people picking apart my testimony and discrediting me, lying about me. Using my trauma for clout, comments, emails, DMs, a leaked phone number, my family has been harassed. And for what? Because I told you guys what happened to me? Because I told you guys Jimmy hires and protects PDFs? My mental health is at an all-time low, and it's because of you, idiot. Hateful, and I can't stress enough, dumber than dirt trolls. Now, now, I don't doubt that he is getting harassment. I don't doubt that any of that stuff is happening that he's saying. I don't doubt any of that. I don't condone any of that. It's horrible. But I think a lot of what he's talking about is mostly commentary picking apart your guys' story. Um, your interview was very bad, uh, very, very bad, because you yapped for a lot of your damn interview. And then the end of it, you finally put out something that is cr like at somewhat, you know, substantiated. We can look at and we can we can look into. But other than that, you gave us nothing. You yapped. And then you will go onto your channel, yap some more. And guess what? It seems like a bit. It seems like you're doing your comedy act. And it sucks, okay? You suck. Bro then goes on to list all the allegations towards Mr. B, such as the hush money, hiring PDFs, hiding PDFs, faking videos, illegal lotteries, illegal giveaways, yada, yada, yada. You know, if you watch the dog pack videos, you know all the allegations. Okay, let's move on to the next story because I generally find this hilarious and you can tell that he's losing his mind. Let's say half of that's true. That's enough. Jail. Want to know my opinion? It's all true. And it gets worse. But again, what do I know? I was just there and let go for not going along with it. And you? You don't know anything but the lies you ate up like it was chocolate made by child... What? By child saves? Saves? You mean slaves? Of course, you think it's true, Jake, because you are pushing the same story as Dog Pack. So are two others that are just as dumb as you two. Um, but it, what makes it all very confusing, or not confusing, non-believable for me on your side is that I feel like your whole thing is a bit. And Dog Pack, he's stupid. Because not only after or in the same day you posted this, Dog Pack had to come out and say the James Warren stuff that he posted wasn't connected to the same James Warren. So he fucked up the part of the investigation. Yet again, he didn't wait two weeks to provide the right information to the audience. Instead, he jumped on the gun to provide you shitty, uh, non-credible evidence towards something that he's trying to push towards a huge YouTuber. Don't worry guys, we got tons more schizo rants. We got here, uh, what are my allegations? Clout chasing? The low IQ moron brain dead? Fucking stupidity. Jimmy was right, you guys are fucking stupid. Believe survivors, investigate Beast, investigate James Warren and at YouTube. Do something now before the mistake of putting him in front of center destroys your entire platform. Now it is super weird that he is continuously still trying to push people to investigate James Warren for some reason, even though Dogpack even goes on to post, even after saying the, you know, what I was talking about earlier, that all the James Warren stuff was not true. And that they were actually jokes. And but he's still pushing for this for some reason. He's so fucking stupid, dude. Later on in the Instagram story, he says, Sorry guys, wouldn't have spilled all the tea if he wasn't getting harassed, and Jimmy needs to call off everyone harassing him, including Keem. Send me a cease and desist, he says. Uh, take him to court. Let's make the solitary footage public. And let's get this on record, basically trying to get the Mr. Beast company and shell companies investigated. Also talking about Viking's video getting taken down, assuming that he named the company Rubber Duck by name, and that he was doing what he was being told, like a good boy. And now he's done basically poking the bear. Jake's acting like there's like a whole <laughs> conspiratorial thing against them where, you know, Mr. Beast is getting Team Star and the whole commentary community to go after them and attack them. It's ridiculous. The guy's like schizoing out so hard in this Instagram story, but it only gets better from here on out. I mean, there's just, oh my God, it just gets better. Just, just watch, watch. Last thing. 
and this is for fun. One of the nukes, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it. James Warren. Sex work is work. This should be, you know, legalized and regulated so that you know, people in those industries don't get hurt, right? That's my opinion on that. I have friends in those industries, you know, people I used to you know, go to high school with and you know, I stay in touch with and they can't text me fast enough. When they say, hey, do you know this guy, James Warren? I was like, yeah, why? Oh yeah, yeah I've worked with him a few times. He loves to pay us to be around and then he likes to show us his bank account and show us how much money he has. People he paid to be around, you know, for that kind of stuff, which again, that's fine, you know, but it's weird and cringe. And at this point of watching the Instagram story, I started to realize when he said sex work, he was talking about LaCoya Hill the whole entire time he was mentioning James Warren, right? This guy couldn't even get the name of the guy he was talking about right. And this is the guy that's pushing against, pushing allegations against Mr. Beast alongside Dogpack and two other idiots. Um, I find it mind blowing that this guy, or even people are taking this guy at face value if they are, you know, the, it's genuinely mind blowing. Do we have screenshots to prove that? Of course I do. Uh, do I want to endanger the people who sent me those things? No, I do not. Uh, because that's what's difficult about this is people don't come forward uh, because of you fucking trolls. Everyone is terrified to come forward. Oh, everyone's anonymous. That's because you, you people are fucking insane. That's why people are anonymous. And that's why he's gotten away with this for so long. It's because of you people who harass people on the internet. That's why this happens and that's why it continues to happen. So if you don't know what you're fucking talking about, shut the fuck yet up. Again, and yet again, here we go. They're not showing any screenshots. They're not showing any evidence. We're just supposed to believe the hearsay, the testimony and everything that the all the bullshit that's just been fed to us over what three videos and how many videos you've made, Jake Weddle, you fucking retard. Uh, but honestly, this is just a genuinely frustrating thing to see from Jake Weddle because he's just honestly calling for to get the police involved. Like, if you want the police involved, why don't you get all these information that you and Dogpack have together and bring it to the police yourself? You know, like. You can't just be like, we need to take this to the police and, and make everyone else on the internet try to get it to the police. You're the ones with the information. You're the one that's been having the experience and, and ex supposedly witnessed some of this shit. So I don't understand why you guys can't take it to the police. But I do think he should just step away from the situation in its entirety just because he's making himself look like an idiot and he's making everyone else look like an idiot. I mean, not only, I mean, all the people involved with the situation pushing the beast story look like idiots because they're just incredibly stupid. But besides that, um, step away from the internet, stop talking about the situation. You look dumb. You're making the situation look worse. I mean, even after Dogpack coming out and saying that James Warren stuff wasn't real, you still go on here to talk about it like a retard and say the wrong person. Like, yeah, LaCoya Hill, if that is all true, he needs to be investigated. He needs to be looked into. But James Warren? I don't know. There was literally, like I said, people made jokes about it, but it was a totally different guy. But that's all I have to say about this situation here today. And hopefully this is the last we'll probably see of Jake Little in this situation. Please, oh God, oh God. This guy sucks, so it's, please let's hope we don't see any more of him. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you're new here, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.